Welcome. <laughs> that never gets old. You can't do that. Welcome back. You gotta cut that. What? We're not cutting that? Nah. You're, you're serious? Yeah. You're just gonna hate on Chris Harris like that? We do it every so often. <laughs> every so often. Welcome <laughs> back. <laughs> it is funny. All right. Fair enough. Aaron Jones. Mid-level boss. Took the NFL by storm this past week. Just buzz, buzz, buzz all over Twitter, all over YouTube. They got players talking about him. Aaron Rodgers is like, yeah, we need to get this dude some more work. He's the best running back in the league all of a sudden. we uh, He's getting put up next to Dalvin Cook and stuff. Like, sure. Who would you rather have? Mm-hmm. He's getting out of control a little bit. Way out of control. We talked about him a couple weeks ago. Mid-level bosses. Mm-hmm. He made the cut. We uh we were throwing around first round picks. Yep, we uh, had a, we had the discussion. I was definitely in to give up a first to get him. Casey was was down. You had some reluctance. A little probably the definitely the most hesitant in the room For to sure. go giving away my first round Said pick. You rather not. And it and and I said it then. I'll say it now. It wasn't Aaron Jones. It was Aaron Rodgers. You know his upside and downside is Aaron Rodgers. And because Aaron Rodgers throws it from the three. And because Aaron Rodgers throws in touchdowns from the 30, and the running backs usually only get work between the 40s. And if you check, that ain't a lot of space. And it's about 20 yards to get your work in. And that was two weeks ago we had this conversation. And then last week. So has anything changed for well, you over there? Well, I mean, you have to pay attention to the usage. Now, last week, two weeks ago we had that conversation. And then the next week after the podcast came out, they play against the Patriots and – all the red zone stuff. There was a red zone carry, but everything, nothing happened for Aaron. He got the he four two red zone carries. I'm he short him, but he got he got you he got you ten points, which is exactly what I told you was going to happen. I was like, he's going to come out here, he's going to get a little bit of work, and he's he's going to get you ten. I don't want that. He got the majority. Of I don't the work. want that in my lineup. He's going to get you ten. But then this past week, he came out at you and got you three tens. He got you thirty. Thirty two. So if you're saying what has changed, I don't know if anything changed other than the defense you're playing against. A, a at least a a coordinated defense in the Patriots playing at the Patriots versus you come home and you're a ten point favorite against the Dolphins and you know, the Dolphins tried to hang in there for a little bit. They were pulling out fake punts and everything, but at the end of the day you got Brock Osweiler playing on the road against the against the Packers and it just you can only keep up so long yeah and one of the reasons why they couldn't keep up is because Aaron Jones was busting them off right Aaron Jones was looking good also had four red zone carries that's right and so Jamal Williams had three total carries what has changed is zero the, in the red zone what has Jamal. changed is the fact that Aaron Jones is obvious is playing is out snapping out carrying out he touching took it and out, he ran with it out everything in Jamal Williams so you can't you have to you have to see that. You have to notice that. You have to swallow that and say, yeah, I mean, was was right now, would I give up that early, late first for Aaron Jones? I mean, I I definitely would right this second because everybody loves Aaron Jones, but no, because it, but you're not going to you buy get him. him. You're you not going to get him for a first. You're not going to buy think. him for a late first and turn around and sell him for more to somebody else because they would just skip you and cut you out and get that deal done without you. You know what I mean? So, like, I don't think you're getting him for a first. Any, I mean, I'd still sell him to you for a, a good, a decent first. I mean, I'm still down. Like, obviously, you're you still you down. Just home. down, huh? You just played at home against the Dolphins. <clears throat> Does he look a fantastic? And he's averaging ten yards a carry. I'm not saying he's not. I'm not saying he doesn't look good. I'm. I'm I would give you the late first, yes. And and we got the air quotes late versus mid versus early. Mm-hmm. I, you know, and it's like, yeah, you can at this point, ten games into the season, you see the guys at the bottom that are two and eight. You know, if you're going to the playoffs or not. Or if you're on the verge. So, like, if you're the best team in the league and you got that late first, man, yeah, you probably should have done what you and Casey said two weeks ago and bought Aaron Jones. But if you're two and eight and you're about to be in that one, two, one, three, maybe one, one area of a rookie draft, I'm going to count those cards and see what happens in in the rookie draft. Yeah. Yeah. I I just, I don't see. Enough happening for Aaron Jones to be that third or fourth round startup value player. He had but four red zone carries this past game uh, against a weak defense of the Dolphins. They don't they don't stop the run. So 
what that's good for the Packers to actually try to do what's the easiest thing to do to get it in the end zone instead of making Aaron Rodgers run for his life and make him work for Aaron him. Rodgers says he wants him to get even more work. That is the special kicker here. What that Aaron if, Rodgers wants, Aaron Rodgers usually gets. Agreed. And if and most of the time, Aaron Rodgers wants to throw it to Devontae Adams and Jordy Nelson. Jordy's gone. Who you can throw it to? You know, Jimmy Graham, shell of himself, running around out there. So. If Aaron Rodgers said, let me call more plays for me to hand it to Aaron Jones and make my job easier, that's the that's that would be the thing that would be different out of the last like three years. You know? I'm not gonna say that the last three years is thrown out the window over one game, but the writing has been on the wall for a couple of weeks now. Aaron Rodgers has been in the media for a month now saying we need to get Aaron Jones more involved. And if that's what's coming out here, then maybe we get another week of eight it, it, I mean, he doesn't obviously doesn't have to average eight yards a carry to be good, but I mean, he was gashing the Dolphins. So if he goes out right. and starts gashing the Seahawks, we've seen flashes of him gashing, right? We've seen gashes you know, being flashed. You know flashed. he can do it. We've seen flash of gash. And to me, like that's that's what I like about this game in Dynasty is because this is where you can get ahead, right? Because mm-hmm. I don't, I don't think you could acquire. I mean, you say you would still sell him for my first to me. Yeah, you're two and eight. You want to send over your first for Aaron Jones? You got it. Right. I don't think that's the norm. I don't think most people are going to give well, that's Aaron because, Jones no, up for no, a first because they ever most people play this game in a week to week scenario. Right. That's you got it. And week to week, it's it it it's getting better. I, there's I know, momentum. I know the production wasn't necessarily there for versus New England last week, but the 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 opportunity certainly was. I would imagine if you went back and looked the last three years at a running back scoring two rushing touchdowns. His name was probably James Starks, and we probably dismi- dismissed it. Or maybe John Kuhn got in two times, and we dismissed it. Like, this is the first time we're not dismissing a running back in pa- for the Packers in three years since Eddie Lacy was young and spry. Like that's right. what, So we just haven't seen it in three years. Right. But you, this, is, this is the game we have to take, right? You have to, you're not going to win. Are you going to win every trade? No. But mm-hmm. you got to make these moves weeks before they come to fruition. Sure. That's... That's to me how I like to play the game. I, and well, I'm I like not to see win the, it every time. I like to see the trades that happened six weeks ago that Aaron Jones was picked up for cheap. Like I get it. Yes, and right now, does it? My does it? Am I the odd man out here? Hell yeah, I am. Does my two weeks ago? Does it me saying I would be really hesitant to give up my first rounder for Aaron Jones? Does that look really bad now? Yeah, two weeks. Not when he was against the Patriots getting you 10 points in your lineup. That's exactly what I said I didn't want to get my first rounder to do. I don't want to get my first rounder to just ha- have the same amount of points that I could plug in somebody off my bench and get. But, but when I mean, you get had four targets and 14 carries last week versus two weeks ago versus the Patriots. It didn't amount to getting you a touchdown and really putting you over the top. But that's but that's the history of the position. It has not amounted to anything in three years. In what general, I'm trying to say. but but not not the Packers necessarily. I mean, there's just there's just so much opportunity for for scoring. Oh, we wanted it. We've been wanting that opportunity. We've been wanting Aaron Rodgers to have a running back since again since Eddie Lacy was young and spry. It's the same that we've been wanting Andrew Luck to have a running back. Obviously, he missed a year with his arm, but we finally got Marlon Mack. You know, and then all of a Who sudden, let you down last week. Sure, but th- I mean, that's you know that's You're still down to give a first to get Marlon Mack. So I, I would give a first to get Aaron Jones too. All right, I'm just not giving up that that t- I'm not giving up that one 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 two because we don't even really know we don't know enough about old Nikhil Harry yet, Mister <laughs> Six Four Two Twenty Five. I've well, like you about to, to take a wide receiver in the first round of a rookie draft next year. I would, I'm not, and I'm not saying I'm taking anybody at the one two. I'm think I'm saying that somebody else might love these guys so much that I can use that and package up and get DeAndre Hopkins. Well, that's, that's all. That's, that's all I'm trying the to case. do. Someone's gonna love these. That, every, that happens every year. Exactly. And then they get drafted. And, I'm and not the NFL married, tells you exactly what the. I'm going not on. married to my draft picks. I just know the value of the draft picks when the draft comes around and I'm using those to package them up. I don't have to make that pick, but I really like having that pick so I can use it and do stuff with it. Or maybe you don't get to move on it and you have to draft one of these guys and you know it's a it's a 50-50 shot in the first round of a rookie draft whether that's going to pan out or not. This is true. I could take that pick right now and get Aaron Jones running back who's uh the last 3 weeks I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that eight point six in the in between the seventeen and the thirty two. <laughs> I'll tell. I'll deal with that. That's going to happen with anyone. All right. But if you're getting fourteen carries and, and four targets, I'll, I'll deal with whatever the production ends up being with. 
Okay. You know? Yeah. Well, I, I mean, the, this is, we got the two extremes. We got the 14 carries that got you 10 points, and then we got the 15 carries that got you 32 points. So we'll see another next week. Another five targets, another four red zone. It, like, that was that was one of your arguments was that, J, that Jamal Williams might be the goal line back here. Like, that and didn't. He wasn't. That That's isn't. what I know. I just said, you got to you gotta see that. You got to right. swallow. I got to swallow that and be like, you know what? If this, if this team is leaning on Aaron Jones like he's the their their workhorse back is not like the Steelers workhorse right. back. They're not right. he's not going to get twenty something carries and catch eight balls. That's just not what they do. But if they start it getting anywhere, if they get half of that, if they can give you half of that, and Aaron Jones can get you fifteen to eighteen points a week, that's a lot better than ten. And if you're going to give me these opportunities with one guy first facing the opposite of a stacked box, right? Then no, I'm picking. I can pick up what you're putting down. I smell what you, I smell. I'm stepping in. If you smell, what? However, that's supposed to go. <laughs> stepping in, and I can smell it on my shoe. Right. Like I don't even know how. Running that's... with boiling water, <laughs> <laughs> with a shaky handle, and no shoes on. Yeah. I don't know what's going on over here. All right, well, let's. Uh, I think that'll wrap it up for today. We wanted to get to a little bit of Matt Breida. Uh, we wanted to break him down, but we've uh, per usual gone very long on this uh, show. I don't even know how that happens each and every week consistently. It's it's. It's hard. It's hard to get through something real quick, and uh, there's just a lot to talk about. And then we, if we go, if we go and break down a guy, and we put him up against ten other guys, this is it's true. It's going to take a little this while. Is true, but hopefully there's some good value in there for you. And I you don't think you something. got again, but I don't think you got shortchanged on any argument. I don't think you got here. shafted no. for sure, for sure. But there's a good, there's a good breakdown argument coming for Matt Breida. We're going to take that over to Patreon again. FFDynasty.com, yep. middle of the page to the right. Log on. Hit us up with the Patreon five dollar holler. We really, we really appreciate everybody that's over there, and we need some more friends over there. Absolutely, it's five bucks a month. You get an extra hour plus of content every single week. It's exclusive to Patreon. Every once in a while, we release an old episode onto this uh, free show portion just to sh- kind of give you guys a sneak peek of what's going on. But every week, it's been growing. Uh, the numbers, the, no- the number of Patreons grows. The number of questions grows. The the interaction grows. And uh, hopefully we all grow and we all learn and, and we move forward. And at the very least, after six months, you get a free T-shirt. Sure. So it pays for itself, plus all the content and the access. Definitely get in on it. Hit us up on Twitter at the FF Dynasty. No Casey Myers this week at IMC Myers. You can find Big Co at Dynasty Big Co. I'm at Jay Wayne's World. If you're listening on iTunes, please hit us up with that five star review. Just go to the ratings, click the little five stars. You can leave a comment if you like or not. Up to you. Just click it. Go over to YouTube, hit subscribe. Uh, we've been going live on Sunday mornings, answering sit start questions. Uh, we didn't this past week. We just went. We didn't have time. We just went straight onto the Patreon. But everybody that was well, on I was Patreon traveling. Got Casey was traveling, so things were a little crazy. But we do we do look out for the Patreon people. Yep. And another thing about that, real quick, we're revved up about it because we're obviously going to finish the season strong and help people with the playoff pushes and try to get that championship belt and try to ho- hoist that trophy. But also, we're so excited about going into this off season and and turning the switch after the season to the rookie stuff, right. and just trying to cycle sh- through those rookies, figuring out the best rookie draft we can put together, and then also digging through what happened this year and trying to find those values on the veterans that dig it, bring you some more Robert Woods kind of guys. Oh man, and just br- just bring you Robert those. Wo- Who have we bought you in the past, man? We're, so many dudes. Thielen, we gave we gave you Thielen before he was anything. We gave you Woods before he was anything. We gave you we gave you uh, Kenny Galladay before you, anybody knew oh, his yeah. name. I gave, mean, as far as rookies, we were first go, out there on Carry On Johnson. First no doubt about it. Kareem Hunt. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we could even claim Alvin Kamara. Shit. Nobody was on Alvin Kamara like we were. No. Two this years. This is good ago. stuff. This uh, uh, Hunt, Rev- Cooper Cup, Galladay, Cooper. You were hot. You were super hot. Chris heavy Godwin, on Cooper, Gall- Cooper, uh, Cooper, James Cup. Connor. Oh yeah. Nobody's on James Connor like we were on uh-uh. James Connor. Not even close. So we'll we'll find all those guys again in this next draft. Oh, it's going to be exciting. We're we're excited about it, and and you know obviously we're going to keep bringing this show to you every week in the off season like we've been doing for three years. But the uh, the Patreon side of that, you're going to get the same type of stuff in the in the off season for Patreon. We're going to be right. going knee deep in the rookies over there too. So um, and helping people with the off season trades as, as well. Absolutely. And gear it up for their rookie and free agent drafts and startup drafts too for the people for you're always you always need a good startup every year. Yeah, I think so. Don't don't take the fun out of it. You got you got you got rookie drafts, you got <sighs> veteran free agent drafts, and you got startups. When does it ever end? It never ends. If you do a startup every year, you got to do it. You're just gonna end up with like 
however many years you live worth of dynasty teams. You got to do it. <laughs> I don't know how you keep it all straight, Big Cole. I'm, I'm envious and, and my life uh, is ruined. Don't be envious. Wondrous. My, you can be envious of the fun I've had with the startups because it's. I mean, there was two or three a year for three years in a row. Yeah. And for two hundred dollars, two fifty on on uh, FFPC just because I couldn't get enough, and it's just it's fantastic. Gets a little tough when you're trying to go through every week and send quality trade offers. You know, you have or to. Or when you have Le'Veon Bell on all those teams. Oh God, <laughs> that stings. Right, stings a bit. Can't stop once I started. <laughs> stings. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, y'all. Let's get out of here. Thanks for listening, everyone. This has been the FF Dynasties Married to the Game.